getting up too high. Here we go. Touching down. What's up, people? It's your boy Joshua. I'm here today in Kerbal Space Program. We're going to try our glider rover lander on Duna. <sighs> of all the places to go, uh, Duna is probably the hardest one to glide into because you have to have so much lift on your craft. Escaping from Duna, vastly easier than Eve. I did warp this over here, so ignore the fact that I have so much fuel. Uh, if I had my actual lifter on this save, which I just need to go and transfer, um, I could just fly it over, but I didn't because I wanted to quickly get this developed and out and tested and we'll see how well this works. We're going to control from here. I was thinking that would give me more control, but it totally didn't. Anyhow, let's get this out of here. All right, got rid of that. We don't need this fuel, so we're going to ditch this too. That originally was the deorbit stage, so I just wanted to build the rest of that up so I could snap it onto the rest of my craft later, because that's where all this fun really begins here. So let's swing ourselves back around, get that little stack separator out of the way, and let the fun begin. And we need to now get everything out and deployed. Out and deployed. Play. There we go. Okay, so we're out, we're deployed, and hopefully this is going to be stable enough to not flail around when we get into the atmosphere. Oh, we're flapping. We're a bird. We turn into a bird. Okay, no, 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 that's not good. Birding is not good. We're almost in the lower atmosphere. I'm hoping that it's enough to keep it nice and gentle because if we have that wing flapping right now, game over, man. Is We're just going to smash into the ground. Okay. And we also have to find a nice place to land. I can ditch these rear wheels. They're basically there to give something for me to land on and something to destroy. Honestly, they are th just there for additional litho braking. So we'll see how well that works out. This always is so stressful. Duna landings are really easy if you decide to use engines. Super easy. Gliding down on Duna, not super easy because the lift issues, the atmosphere is so thin that it takes a lot of lift to make this happen, which is why the craft is mostly wings. I mean, it's very reminiscent of the early days of flight. Basically, you have to take everything back and start to think, how can we retain as much lift as possible and have as light a craft as possible? And then you have to find a nice, clean place to land. And you have to keep your nose down. If you do not keep your nose down, you're going to have a bad time. I am going to try to swing in this ravine a bit more. I think I may have it. That's a hard flare there. That was a hard flare. And that's exactly what we need to keep doing. These really hard flares. So we can drop this speed. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, that was a little too extreme. I don't want to have to do that again. So now we really want to come down because we don't want our vertical speed to get start getting up too high. Here we go. Touching down. Success. And detach. <gasps> no! <laughs> Holy crap! Well, that destroyed our arm. But, wow, those arms are super fragile. That is super fragile. But we safely landed. I want to do it again and this time not lose my arm. That's a clean detach. Next engine phases in. 
deorbit burn. And it's really, really cool because I did see really well that if I leave it set to aiming at periapsis and then I let it just come on, uh, on over and spin, that we get this beautiful uh, angle. So let's play this, deploy everything. Once it's there, auto strut. Good, I pointed all the separatrons the right way. <laughs> oh, those joints are just horrible. All right, about to do another flare. Keep her nose down. And at the last second, pull up. <sighs> Patience. We almost got it. We're almost there. All right, we're at 38. Thirty. Okay, here we go. <gasps> oh, don't do that. Okay, we escaped. Let's hit our brakes. And set this to SAS only. Matter of fact, turn this off. <laughs> because we're here. Oh my god, and we have our arms still intact. Oh my god, that's beautiful. That was a nice glider landing. Oh, that feels good. Okay. Woo! <laughs> We're here. We glided in on Duda. Oh my god. Usually I just do a vertical landing because it's so easy to do it. Or you can just use fan blades or whatever you have. It's really easy to do when you're coming in. But gliding in, oh, that's a lot of challenge. I don't worry about the parts of my craft that get destroyed, um, as long as it's not my main craft. It's not like I'm going to be putting those back in and flying off with them. I mean, I could if I decided to build one like that, but that's neither here nor there. But what we do have is a successful landing. That was a really interesting glide down, and it does take a lot of patience. A lot of patience to get down to the appropriate speed. At the very end, I got a little overly aggressive on the landing because I just wanted to get down in this good flat area but we we made it and the rear wheels did exactly what, what I wanted them to do they they actually absorbed some of that impact they don't have any braking on those so I don't care about them but the wings need better placement of the separatrons because they almost took out my arm again nonetheless successful landing gliding down on Duna Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have, drop me in a like, share this out to your friends. There's ways you can do it. You can save on costs. I'm just saying. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. For now, it's your boy Jatuan. I'm out. Peace. Oh my god. Ah.